what made you choose Bucket List in the first place? Well, in March of 2020, our entire organization went remote. What came after that decision was looking at our programs um, that we currently had in place. And because we were essentially an in-office uh, team or part of our team was in office, our recognition program was based out of being in the office. And there was a delay in when employees could you know, redeem their points for reward. There was a delay in how they were going to receive them if there was anything that was meaningful to them. And so we sort of saw the program losing traction and it needed to be um, revised and revamped. And that ultimately led us to looking at different online platforms. So we looked at a number of vendors. We had a project team come together. We had scorecards. Um, we came together as to what were our must haves and what were our nice to haves and we met with all three. And we had um, a demo with all three and we scored them all unbiased, all based on what was a must have for us and what was a nice to have. And ultimately Bucket List had the highest amount of points. So, and how receptive uh, were the staff once you launched? Well, we received great feedback. And I think it was really well received. I think the soft, you know, once we started to launch and once everyone started to get the hang of going to a new platform, um, they they loved it. Um, we started to see a lot more engagement on the feed. Um, and it was really, you know, actually somebody shared with me that it makes their day. If they're having a hard day, they go to the bucket list platform and they read all the recognition that everybody is getting. And did you notice any changes after you launched? When we launched Bucket List, people were so excited to start using the platform and you know, look at a way of publicly recognizing the efforts of their team, but also the efforts of employees across the organization. So that was really the, the point of creating an online platform too, was you know, building a sense of community and having, having an area where we could celebrate the efforts of everyone. So the activity started to really ramp up. And then our engagement scores um, did also increase. So we have another platform that we use to measure our engagement. And this year was the first year we also started to do pulse surveys. So we always do a, you know, an engagement survey at the end of the year, but this year was the first time that we were going to do one first quarter, second quarter, and third quarter. And um, at the beginning of the year, when we measured um, the ability for employees to have special recognition, that uh, particular uh, area scored about 76% across the organization. And just recently in September, when we closed our other, our third um, pulse survey, uh, it scored at 86%. So we can definitely see an increase um, in engagement. Well,